Hi, I'm Dan Cordopassi. Today I'm reviewing an HO scale committee design hopper from Arrowhead Models. My example is decorated for Denver and Rio Grande Western and has roller bearing trucks. I got my car direct from Arrowhead Models for $48.95. Arrowhead offers these models in several paint schemes with prototype specific details. The models are also available with many different car numbers, which is great for hoppers since they're often seen in multiple. We'll start the model at 100 possible points. The car comes packaged in a cardboard outer box. Inside, a two-piece plastic cradle protects the model. This is a good box that should protect the model during storage and transport. I found a photo online of another Rio Grande hopper in the same number series from 1994, and the model appears to be a close match with respect to detail. The car in the photo was very dirty and weathered, and the road number had been re-stenciled. Still, the old markings under the dirt appear to match the model pretty well. The paint on the car is opaque and thin enough not to obscure detail, including the very fine rivets around the ribs on the sides. The markings are opaque and all of the tiny writing is legible with magnification. I only spotted a couple tiny voids in the flying Rio Grande logo around the ribs. The grab irons are freestanding and appear to be made of wire for durability. The stirrups look to be made of plastic but are somewhat flexible. I'd still handle them with care. On the ends, the car has uncoupling levers and air hoses. The end grab irons are also freestanding and nicely done. The B end has a photo etched brake platform and nicely rendered brake system components. The car comes with a removable coal load. I had to pry mine out with a plastic tool. I'd avoid using metal so as not to mar the finish on the model. On the inside, the car looks a little plain to my eye. The level of detail is lower than on the outside of the car, but it's possible that the real cars were like that. Since I couldn't find any prototype photos of the inside, I'm giving the car the benefit of the doubt here. Underneath, the car has nice discharge gate detail and freestanding brake rods. Weights occupy the spaces between the gates. These areas may have been open on the real cars, but this is also not something that's visible when the car is on the track. The car is equipped with KD scale couplers. The coupler on the A end is perfect. The coupler on the B end is low, so I'm taking five points. All of the wheels are engaged according to the NMRA standards gauge. The car wobbles, so I'm taking another five points. The car weighs three ounces even with the load and 2.5 without. The NMRA recommended weight for a car of this length is 3.75 ounces. Adding more weight under the load wouldn't be too difficult, but there really isn't any good way I can see to add weight to an empty car since the spaces under the car are already filled. Many open cars are lighter than the recommended weight, so I'm not taking any points here. The car is very free rolling. Let's take a look at what we've got. The car has one low coupler and it wobbles, so I took 10 points in the standards and operation category. That leaves us with a total of 90 out of 100 possible points, which would be an A- on a report card. This is a really nice model and it deserves a green signal. It's always exciting to see a new company enter the model railroading world. Arrowhead has done a really nice job with their first car, and if you need some Rio Grande hoppers, I wouldn't hesitate to recommend it.